Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. First up, I'm wearing a mullet and a denim jacket for absolutely no reason at all. But anyhow, uh, on today's video, I am showing you how to make some absolutely stonking hot dog jacket potatoes. These ones have got a honey mustard popping seed base with some caramelized sausages, uh, bacon and red onions on there, and also some cress on top for absolutely no reason at all. Kind of like me wearing this outfit. You must have a go at this. Perfect for a winter warmer. Great cold, great hot. You can reheat them in foil. Hit pause on the video right now. Write them all down. Sorry about the mullet. Let's do it. The first step we're going to do is actually the most time consuming step of all, but it's so worth it. It is baking our potatoes. And I hope you'll agree, slow baked potatoes with that caramelness and that puffy edge softness inside are so, so worth it. So get a washed jacket potato and stab it with a fork a few times. And what you want to do is larver it with some olive oil, get it nice and coated, use a tin to hold that oil in and sprinkle uh, some salt on. The salt will stick to the oil. Then shove it in your preheated oven, literally straight on the shelf, no tin at all, because you want it to circulate all around it for a good 90 minutes until it's all done. And once they're done, they're looking absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you can skip that step, you can speed it up. Mrs. Barry makes her baked potatoes in a microwave and then finishes them off in the oven, so that's like a micro baked potato, but you can taste the difference. So give it the time it deserves, okay guys? Yeah. While the potato is baking, you can carry on and make your honey mustard filling. So grab yourself a mixing bowl and combine together your mayonnaise, mustard, honey, and poppy seeds. Now you want to give that a good old stir together and of course you can tweak it to your liking. Make sure it's like not too thick but nice and sort of droopy so you can get it in there and it won't completely all spill out of your potato. Yeah, that tastes good. Now your last step for around about 20 minutes before your jacket potatoes are done is to cook up your sausages, onions and bacon. So get a frying pan, we're not gonna put any oil in there because it's gonna emit out oils from our sausage anyway. But if you wanna speed it up, you can add oil. But on a medium to low flame, we're gonna cook up those sausages just on their own until they start to color initially before following up with our red onion. Don't worry if it's chopped roughly, you can just hack it up a little bit and it will soften as it cooks. And once they're softened for five minutes or so, you wanna add in your bacon and cook it all through together for another good five minutes. Oh yeah, baby. Looking stonking. Then all you need to do is add in your balsamic vinegar and your honey. Now you can mix it up as much as you like. Give it a good stir through for a good five minutes till it starts to go sticky. I added some extra honey, but that's completely optional. Get it all nice and coated, and then it's time to serve it up. So to serve it up, simply take a wedge out of one of your baked potatoes. Oh my God, that looks so good. Dribble in a layer of your honey mustard, whack in your sausage and drizzle some more honey mustard on top, spreading it all out and then follow up with your sticky onion and bacon mixture and then finish with some cress. Now the cress is completely optional, but I hope you'll agree they are looking absolutely stonking. I'm using the word stonking quite a lot at the moment, but that word is deserved for this recipe. So, so good, amazing hot or cold, wrap them in tin foil, good times. Here we go then guys, I've just sliced a little wedge uh, off one of these potatoes right here. Got everything all on there. Let's get it in my gob, shall I? Yes, shall I? Is that English? I don't know. Guys, it tastes absolutely unbelievable. I nearly got some on my denim jacket. That would have been a major, major fail right there. But anyhow, you've got that saltiness of the potato, the tang of the balsamic vinegar with the bacon. You've got the sweetness of that honey mustard. And of course, it's in a potato rather than bread, which is a bit different. You can have it hot or cold, as I say. Wrap it in foil if you want. I asked you guys on Facebook on my new iPhone 6. iPhone 6, hey, iPhone 6, everyone. You know, everyone noticed that? When someone gets a new phone, they're like, hey, let me just take this call. Uh, sorry, uh, iPhone 6. Uh, a status update on Facebook. John Wakefield, uh, Dan Walsh said they would put pulled pork in there with some chilli sauce, good stuff. Uh, Matt Nicholson would go for chilli with no kidney beans. Ben Milson, barbecue beans with bacon. Liam Perrins are oh, so, so good. Uh, Becky Fraser was on about spag bowl. Michael Downing said chorizo and bacon in a barbecue sauce. So, so good. The possibilities are endless. Put your own spin on it. Send me a picture at My Virgin Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up if you like. And uh, yeah, share. Subscribe, comment, and let me know if you have it for your bonfire night, party, your winter warmer treat, any time of year. So, so good. <sighs> Run out of breath now. See you next time.